Hey, good morning. Well, we had a good night running the dryer. We're just about caught up. And we just gotta move, empty that bin out. It's just about empty. We filled that, those two trucks. And then when Daryl gets back, he went to go pick up some parts so we could get uh, the header fixed. And uh, then we're over to go.
This piece, we noticed yesterday, it was out like this and it was completely bent way off to the side. So we straightened it. <clears throat> Long story short is we've got it. Got a new piece, now we're putting it in. Like I said, sometimes they go easy and sometimes they do not. <clears throat> okay, what else needs to get done to this thing? I gotta grease it. Okay, so what? I can do this. If you know where you're greasing, let me do this. Okay. It's just... Yeah. It's very cool. Everything appears to be good. Well, we're going again, and we're into uh, Horizon variety here. It's um, this is actually a dual-purpose corn. Um, reason we grow this is depending on where things are at and some neighbors this is one that can be used for silage um, this year with the price of corn being what it was and the abundance of hay and some of those things that are out there um, neighbor Glenn did not choose to chop silage and I can't say that I blame him so we are busy combining here and um, yeah it up. Moisture's up a little bit. Um, probably running in that 26-7 range, which is still much better than we were earlier on. Um, yeah, see how this goes. Um, I didn't quite finish that last field. Um, had a bit of an oopsie there last night. We were trying to do a fix, and then I lost the parts we were trying to fix. And, had to go for parts and needless to say for this today we figured out ah, let's do the headlands and do this field a little closer to home a little higher moisture we got i think 12 rounds left on that other field so we will clear that up tomorrow is the goal so we got 80 acres or so to do here see how that all goes and um yeah the end is in sight. That's about as close as we get to date night. Um, it's two hours in the combine together. Good, how are you doing? Good, how are you doing, Rick? Good, just open that middle. There we go. Middle. Thanks for letting me tag along. Oh yeah, not a problem. I haven't had a gleaner ride yet, so <laughs> you had one in the past. Yeah. No, never. you've never been in here. Never no, been in your combine. the treat is yours. Well, we're I fine. know. We're gonna save the treats mine. I've been in a red one and a green one this year, but oh, save the best for last, I guess. Yeah, right? that's it. Oh, that's good. So, word must be out that uh, harvest is getting close to the end because I had Rick uh, out for a ride. That's Kendall's father-in-law, and uh, came for a ride and had a good little visit there. That was awesome. So thanks for coming for a ride, Rick. And uh, uh, yeah, now we're back at it. We're walking right along in this field. Things are going quite smoothly. I think we're down to about, uh, I'm gonna say 40-ish acres. Okay, I'm coming to, uh, as you can see, there's a bush ahead of me. So on this here field, we get to the 80 acre part or the quarter mile mark and um, there's a yard here so we've got another set of headlands. On the way this field works it's always easier to just kind of start on the north side and work up to the bush and then do the headlands here by the bush. 
most fields I'd like to do the headlands all first right off the hop get them done so that that's over and out of the way but on this field I've tried it that way in the past and it just never seems to work out as nice so this one I do I do these headlands um, yeah the, kind of as the headlands come to me so so that's what we're going to do here now as you can see there's little rows in front of me this is headlands here again so everything that you're going to look is I'm going to show you this again well documented wet spring but I'm going to show you some more stuff well I'm making the first loop here and we're doing the headlands you're going to see a weed patch it looks like a weed patch because that's pretty much what it is if you can see right here in here all the way along the bush that is normally all seeded but this year when we were coming in and seeding that was all under so much water that there was no hope of us getting in there you can see there's a drainage ditch right right there kind of runs like this to a pond kind of like this and like that and um, that drainage ditch um, was right to the top full and um, overfilling so we there was just no way in the world that this little patch could get done so now what we're going to do is we'll follow this around see if we can find <laughs> you can still it is interesting i don't know if you can see it but there's little black lines here kind of sort of well those are peter's strip till lines from spring so they're still there the other thing you're going to notice again which is totally unusual for this field but again because it's wet this ditch that runs completely here again that ditch from over here where that five acres is normally seeded didn't this ditch i don't ever remember not seeding this ditch this is always always seeded maybe sometimes we have to wait a little bit later to seed it but it's always always seeded this year when i seeded it i was literally going up to the planter was right up to the water so this was all water and uh it might not look like much, but there's probably three three feet deep there in places, two and a half, three feet deep. So that tells you how deep the water was there and how much water wasn't able to drain at the time because of how wet we were. So that's caused us to have to make that little field over there. There's probably, I think, five acres on that side of the creek. Thankfully, there was a driveway in that, in that corner and um, made it so we could do that. But uh, um, other than that, yeah, that's all, that oak corn over there is normally part of this field. But this year we had to treat it separately because too wet. Definitely noticing that. Um, definitely noticing that the seeds are a bit smaller. Sample still looks good, but I'm guessing it. We got uh, we got froze. I'm guessing this field got hit with frost before it could fully mature and get good test weight. So that also plays a factor into our yield. But let's see what the moisture is going to be and. had time to cool off so it's had time to dry over the last couple days it's been warm a bit of a breeze hopefully we're a bit drier all right 36 on the dial i'll go to my chart and we are oh 25 and a half so 25 and a half at 11 degrees temperature and everything we're going to be right around that 26%. So, it ain't 21 and 23, but it's a lot better than 30. So, hopefully, we can get a good amount done today. 
So that tomorrow is a good day to finish up harvest. All right, well, <clears throat> Terry, I just dropped supper off for him. He's got 160 acres done on this field as a half section. So from him to that bush is left, roughly about 150 acres. So he won't, we won't quite finish in high dressing today, but it should make for a very easy day tomorrow. And combining is going awesome. And things are starting to get a lot colder. We're uh, supposed to get to minus nine tonight, which is, oh, about 14 degrees Fahrenheit. 10 degrees Fahrenheit, something like that. So yeah, it's getting cold. Or it, it's starting to get cool. So yeah, nice to be able to start wrapping things up. Arch is all caught up with heroin. So we are down to the half section that Terry is in hydrocene and then that end of field work is done. So Arch is actually running the combine right now, which gives me a little bit of time to, I'm gonna take a bale out, this is a bale of hay. I'm gonna take it out to the cows. It'll be our buffer to know, I'm pretty sure they're gonna devour it, but we wanna see, uh, make sure that they have enough food. They've been grazing this 50 acres of forage for a couple weeks now, and it looks like it's getting chewed down pretty good. So, Give them some of this so they don't fall behind. And yeah, with the weather coming, we may start uh, having to start feed, feeding the cows some uh, corn silage and their ration soon. So this is how we're gonna gauge on how soon that may be. Uh, Arch is busy uh, combining. Peter's in the cart. And there is a ton of deer out there. Look at the, you can't see it, but by the far end of the bush there, there's a whole bunch of deer. So, as soon as, uh, as soon as high power comes in, which is in two, a week and a half, I can uh, start hunting. left here but these cows look awesome cows calves they are looking good and I think it doesn't matter we find whatever animal we find whatever you bring out for food <laughs> if it's something new they just love it so they don't look like they're starving but we don't want them to get to that point either so calves are looking good if you've been following us along, uh, there's certain animals that always stick out, but there's one right there, that roan one. It was born, it always looked like it was like a dwarf, like it had short legs, looked good body, but just a short, short calf. But remember when that one was born? Yeah. They are looking awesome. Beautiful sunset. Hey. That's looking good. 
I haven't walked out with these ones in a long time, so it's always nice to see the calves eating too. A lot of them at this point are self weaning off mama. Makes the transition when we have to wean them a lot better. Hey. Yeah, I don't think there's gonna be left, much left of this hay bale when we're done by the morning, so. They're going into winter in great shape. That's what we want. We don't want them going backwards, so. That looks like it could be a 4-H one. This one with the white face, that one is looking awesome. Really good. Kids have to pick their 4-H animals out yet. We'll have to do that within the next week or so. Should be done already, but as soon as harvesting is done, those are some of the jobs that we're gonna get done, so. Okay, that's Arch there going with those lights. There is not much left, he's got. He's got a few short up and downs, and then uh, we, we actually knocked off this field today, so. Okay, we had a breakdown. I spoke too soon, and we can't unload the trucks until we get a new chain. Our chain broke for our auger. But we're pretty sure that the rest of this will all fit in uh, the trucks. So that field, they're just wrapping things up. Trucks, grain cart, everything will be right full. Wet bin still isn't quite full, which is good. And that means I also don't need to drive through the night. Barring breakdowns and everything runs half decent. Shouldn't be a hard day tomorrow. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for taking time to watch.